Hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is a beautiful day here in England, and I just want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about three things that my American friends and family keep asking me about living here in the UK. And my family and I, in 2020, we moved to the UK, so we've been here, right, you know, getting close to two years, and it's been wonderful. And so when I go back to the States, or when I talk to my friends and my family back there in the States, they always ask me the same two to three questions. And the first one is always, how safe is it? Is it safe? Is it a safe place to be? Is it a safe country? Do you feel safe there? And the safety question always makes me chuckle to myself because I've actually never felt safer living anywhere else as safe as I feel living here. I feel really safe living here. I can think back to in college when I moved to Washington DC, I went to an intern and we couldn't even walk to the bus stop or the metro, uh, the subway system by ourselves. We had to go in groups because it was so unsafe. And that was just, that was a college experience that I had. And I'm not saying that the whole United States is riddled with crime. I won't say that. I will say this though, this is a, this is a point. Uh, the On the Global Peace Index, the UK is ranked 33, number 33 on the Global Peace Index. Anyone have any idea where the US is ranked on the Global Peace Index? Oh, you do know, number 122. In the year 2021, the United States of all the nations in the world was ranked number 122 for safety. So when my friends and family ask me, do you feel safe there? Actually, I want to ask them, do you feel safe there? You get it. And the second question I get all the time is, are there any black people in the UK? To which I always answer, yes. I've never been anywhere in the UK where I have not seen people of African descent, black people. Actually, to be more spe 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 specific, to be more specific, black people make up 3.3% of the UK population, which is about 1.9 million people. That's a lot of people, you know, scattered across uh, the British Isles. So, yes, there are black people in the UK. This is an apple tree, and you can see it's covered in blooms. Right next to it is a pear tree which has little tiny pears on it already. So in the fall, we're gonna have apples and pears and I will be making some jam and jellies. And I love that, I really do. Okay, so after answering the question of, are there black people? And I tell them how many black people there are in the UK. The next question is a follow on, which is, well, how are you treated? And I'm like, well, I can't speak for all 1.9 million, but I can speak for me and my family. And we've been treated fine. We don't have any issues. We, we uh, yeah. Don't have any issues. I don't have a whole lot more to say about it than that. Don't have a whole lot of issues at all. <laughs> if you follow along with this channel, you'll know that a couple weeks ago, I did a video and I talked about how there's a mama duck over there sitting on some eggs and people put in the comments and they said, hey, keep us updated. Well, here's the mama duck update. Mama Duck is still sitting on her eggs. However, she has had a bit of bad luck. A couple times in the evening time when she goes off, she leaves the nest for a little while. Some crows have come along, and I believe they're crows, but they've come along and they've plucked a couple of eggs out of the nest, but there are still eggs there. So she's lost, I know, at least two. And I've tried to be home, and when I see her fly away, kind of just start to move around a little bit outside to kind of scare those other birds off so she can go off and forage and, you know, get a little break from, from doing what she's doing. But she's still doing really well. She's still sitting there. There are still eggs, so we're still hoping to see some little ducklings here on the farm. And hopefully, about a week or so, I'm hoping in about a week, they'll hatch. And I feel like they'll be a lot safer once they hatch and she can take them and do those little things that wild ducks do. As you can see here, here's one of the eggs that was plucked from her nest. The remains of one of the eggs. That's one of her little babies that didn't make it. And there's another one. So let's get a little closer here. We're not gonna get too close to Mama Duck because we don't like to bother her. Well, I'll show you the other egg. This is remains of the second egg that's been plucked from her nest. So really sad about that, but unfortunately that is nature and nature can be pretty brutal sometimes. But you may not be able to make her out. I'm not gonna get any closer than this. But Mama Duck is right there. She's sitting there staring at me, but she's still doing good. Still sitting on the rest of her nest, trying to bring her little eggs into this. All the time is, well, how do you understand everyone? Because for some reason, I think everyone in the US thinks that everyone here sounds like Sean Connery. Or everyone sounds like 
uh, it's RP, right? It's just very formal, the crown, and everyone is walking around with the pinky in the air, and, and that's how they're talking and speaking all the time. And I tell them, you know, typically I don't even hear the British accents when I talk to people. Uh, there are a couple, you know, I look at a goggle box. If you, you I, I love goggle box, and there are a couple accents on there that are, you're like, wow, that's a little different. But in general, I don't notice the accents when I'm talking to people. I live in the Midlands, and I, I typically don't even hear it. I mean, it comes up on a few words, but if we're having conversations, the words in some cases are different, but just in general, like a strong British accent, I don't hear it. Of course, I've been living here for a little while now, so maybe my ear is just more in tune with it and more accustomed to it. So that could be the case, but I tell them in general, I don't hear a lot of British accents. So then finally, I'm asked the question, do you like it? Do you enjoy living in the UK? And the answer is a resounding yes. I do like it. Uh, it is really peaceful for me here. I, this has just been a wonderful experience, uh, a wonderful place for us uh, as a family to be. I think my kids have been thriving here. I think my wife has been thriving here. And I think I've been thriving here as well. And, you know, with all of the angst that has been going on around the world, You hear that? That's my environment. That's my environment. So hey guys, that's it. I just wanted to cover this really quickly. Those three questions that I get asked all the time from some of my American friends is they ask me questions and families ask me questions about what my experience has been like living here. Before I log off here, it is 7.43 and the sun is just beaming. So it's almost 8 p.m. and the sun is not even close to setting yet. I always talk about how long the day length is here, but in the summertime, I'm telling you, beautiful green and the day just keeps going on and on and on and on and on forever and i actually i love it i really do all right guys until the next time do take care like and subscribe